SLR design is inspired by the five different fractions of diversion. This is what you'll need. So let's get this look started. First of all, use a base coat to protect your nails. Now paint all of your nails white. Apply as many coats as you need until it's intense enough. Next, you need a one paper reinforcement ring. If it's too big for your nail, trim it a bit. Now stick it onto your nail and draw around it to get a nice circle. Remove the paper reinforcement ring very carefully because we need this for the other nails to achieve all circles in the same size. After you did this, improve your circles with your nail art brush. You can use a white color too. Repeat this on your other nails. Blue for erudite, brown for candor, orange for dauntless, red for amity and gray for abnegation. I think this method is easier than freehand, so you can try it out if you want to. Now we start creating the fraction symbols. I think the little finger is the best for every die because it's the smallest and the symbol is pretty easy. That's also the reason why I chose my thumb for abnegation. So now we draw the blue arrogant eye. Start with the lash line and go on with the iris and the pupil. Next is going to be the unbalanced scale for candle. Start off with a straight line in the middle of your circle and at the stand of the scale. Go on with a curved line on each side and at the bolts. One should be higher than the other. Then connect the bolts and scale with three strings. Now we go on with the fraction of prison four, dauntless. Fill your circle with orange flames to create a fire. Next one is the amity tree. Start with the red twisted tree trunk. Now add some branches. Use a toothpick to create some leaves at the end of the branches. And don't forget the roots. The last one is going to be abnegation. Outline the shape of two hands reaching for each other. Start with the wrists and go on with the fingers. Try to draw the fingers as thin as possible. At the end, you can use your white nail polish again to correct some mistakes. Wait for your fraction symbols to be completely dry and finish off with a top coat.
So that's the finish result. Actually, it was really easier than I thought, so try it out if you want to. And yes, thanks for watching and thumbs up for my super professional eyeliner raven tutorial. <laughs> Bye, guys.